Hello, I'm Pete and welcome back to a short hike. I'm interested in the motorboat racing, so I'm going to make my way round to where I think the motorboat hire occurs. I believe it's not far around this way. Oh, we found a chest by accident. Huh, interesting. Is this a new area I've been to before? This does look familiar, yes. Okay, we had that um, that thing there. Oh yes, we're back at the earthy window. Yeah, one thing that occurred to me, I wasn't sure if I really gave this a, a really thorough look last time. I tried digging in the water here. What I didn't try is digging between these two stones here, so that's worth a go, I think. That might have been the treasure in question. Okay, well that's resolved. And here is the motorboat hire spot. Let's get ourselves a boat again. Ah, the little girl's disappeared. Was it a girl or boy? Don't know, dear. So what you reading? Oh, this. Just some fiction. Cool. So what's it about? What's what about? Your book. Oh, uh, it's a fantasy novel. So, you know, it's about magic and stuff. Nice. Ah, here's the critter in the boat. So, uh... I got a little board waiting around in the boat, so I drove it back here. Um, don't tell Dad, okay? Sure. So, we're back in the boat. I want to do the race. Let's, um, let's try talking to this person. You want to try my boating challenge? Let's do it. Oh, yes. You rock, Claire. I've got to set some stuff up. I'll be right back. This is what I'm talking about. So, here's the sitch. I set up a bunch of checkpoints in the water. All you've got to do is hit them all in order. If you finish in under two minutes, then you win. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Oh, oh, and I forgot how the controls work. There we go. Around to the left. Slow down for the corner. Avoid hitting walls. Oh, beached. Around here. Only 20 seconds going so far. I feel like we must be doing pretty well. Oh, overshot that one. Oh, okay, it's quite quite a lenient radius around these checkpoints. Okay. And this is a very tight thing. Ooh. Found a secret jump. That didn't sound good. Whoa. Well, that was awesome. That was crazy. Crazy awesome. Uh, it's not starting? Wait, what? Well, the boat's ruined. Okay, I think it's working now. Phew. Ha! Huh. I was getting ready to freak out. That's making clanky noises, all right. Oh. Um. Is it just me? Or does something not sound right? It's the engine. That's not good. No, it's not. Maybe it will just go away? I don't know. Shoot. Shoot! This is my fault. I made the ramp. It's all right. What if the boat is really broken? What if it sinks? Don't worry. What if it explodes? It's not going to explode. But uh, we should probably have someone take a look. Dad would know how to fix it. But he kind of told me not to use the ramp. Oh, he's going to be all disappointed in me. Uh, maybe there's someone else around that knows, like, boat stuff? There's got to be someone. Mmm, boat dude. Where's boat dude? Boat dude's just around here somewhere, I think. Yeah, boat dude. Uh, it's really not going to explode, right? Definitely not. Okay. You must know boat stuff. Um, I was just curious. But do you happen to know anything about boat repair? Heh, <laughs> I sure do. Now, I ain't gonna be modest about this. When it comes to boats, I know the ins and outs. The lefts and rights, the ups and downs. And any other this ways and that ways you can think of. Why do you ask? Well, our boat is making a weird noise. Oh yeah, boats will make all sorts of noises. They're awfully chatty for a chunk of metal. 
I reckon you want me to take a look at it. If you don't mind. Well, of course. Let's see what we can do. And that should be it. That's all. That's all. Just bent a prop back into shape. Should be purring like a kitten now. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I was so worried. No problemo. How did this happen anyway? Uh, we kind of drove it off a ramp. <laughs> nice. That boat's not really built for that kind of action, though. Huh. I wonder, could we make it that kind of boat? Hmm. Good question. Uh, I think we'd better get going. Alrighty. i got to get back to slacking off anyway. Thanks again. Back in the boat. That's better. Purring indeed like a kitten. Can we talk? So, now that we're out of that pickle, did you maybe want to try my challenge again? Uh, but this time with no ramp. Absolutely zero ramps. Just regular good old rampless boating fun. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, let's do it. So I was thinking about last time, and I thought I'd add an extra rule. A rule that promotes safe boating practices. Okay, whenever you hit a rock or something, I'll penalise you by adding 10 seconds to your score. 10 seconds, that's harsh. How does that sound? Sure, I can handle that. All right, so it's going to be all about clean driving this time. We definitely don't want to take any chances. Slow right down for the corners. And it's about arriving safely rather than getting there as quickly as possible. Uh-oh. Well, I can probably absorb one penalty. But really... Oh, did I not get that? That's, uh, that's going to scupper our chances, I think. Yeah, ten, ten seconds. Oh, well, did that not count? Okay. I guess if, you, if you're gentle enough, then it doesn't, it doesn't register. Oh, hooray. That was less than a minute. And that's time. You finished in just 49.17 seconds. And that's after your penalty. So guess what? You won. Yes. High five? Eh, too lazy to move. But I do have a gift for you. A golden feather. Hurrah, we're up to 16. That'll help you get air, even without ramps. Nice boating challenge. Complete. Where should we go to next? So, one thing I do recall is that there was an artist that we met, I think in the previous episode. They were going to be up at the lighthouse. Where is the lighthouse? I think, if memory serves... I really wish there was a map. If memory serves, the lighthouse is up here. No, the lighthouse is nowhere near here. Well, bang goes that theory. Let's try going around a bit more. Could the lighthouse be somewhere around here? Let's try going up. And let's hope we haven't beached that boat irreparably. Oh, here is the lonely seat. Another thing I noticed while editing. Let's equip the shovel. And some coins. Is that definitely the spot? It is. Okay. Let's try climbing up this wall here. Oh, a chest. Very nice. Oh, a golden feather chest. Lovely. And some coins leading us in this direction. Let's follow that path and see where that takes us. Ah, it takes us up. It's kind of a back route up to where it gets cold. There's a chest over there. We'll grab... And now we're out of feathers. Oh, there is a warm place, though. Uh, can I get up to that? I can. I wonder whether maybe the best way to find the lighthouse is to go up to the top and then glide on down. And then I can perhaps get a better view. Hello, fox. Any luck getting to the top? Yeah, I was just up there. Can you show me the route? Well, you kind of need to be able to fly. Oh, Right. Maybe you could climb up? I don't have enough golden feathers. I could lend you some. You would? Totes. How many do you need? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I'd need a lot. 
Like six? I can lend you six feathers. Really? Of course. You're amazing, Claire. I'll see you up there. So then presumably I meet the fox up at the top to get my feathers back. Oh. <laughs> For a second there, I thought they were going to try and climb up the whole way. I'll get myself warm and wait for the fox to catch up. There you are. Come on, keep going. I'm keeping my eye out in the background for uh, any evidence of the lighthouse silhouette. Whoa, Claire. This is better than I could have imagined. Thanks for helping me get up here. It was no problem. Really. These lights are so incredible. I hope they turn out on film. I lugged this fancy camera all the way up here. It better be worth it. Well, the camera on my phone sucks, so at least it's better than that. Hmm. Want me to take your photo? This would make a sweet profile pic. Oh yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Hold on. Strike a pose. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Amazing. Achievement unlocked, photo friends. The northern lights turned out great. What a nice photo. Oh, before I forget, here's the feathers you lent me. Back up to 17. Thanks. Make sure you email me that photo. I will. Okay, I want to get to the lighthouse. So I'm just going to float on round until I see the lighthouse. I need to be a little bit lower. Hmm, there's a bridge of sorts over there. But, oh, that's those people who are running around. See, I feel like the lighthouse was quite close to the coast. It's not like up high up in the mountains. So that should mean in principle I should be able to glide all the way around the circumference of the island in this way. And I won't be able to avoid it. Okay, so I recognise this route from one of the races with Avery, but I can't remember whether this was the one that raced to the lighthouse or to the abandoned building. Either way, let's take it to its destination, and that's one way to find out. Aha! We're in the right place. There's the artist. We found the lighthouse. At long last. Hurrah! Hey, it's you again. Yep. Classic me again. So, what do you think about this so far? Whoa. This is really good. It's like, better than real life. Ha! <laughs> well, I don't think I can compete with real life. But I am happy with it so far. I don't know if it will fit into my exhibit, though. I'm trying to come up with something more interesting. I'm going to follow one of the rivers up to its source. I have an idea for a painting from that perspective. Okay. Uh, what river are we going to follow? Probably the one on the west side of the mountain. It's higher up. Okay, so we're going to need to get to a river's source. There's a, a river on the west side of the mountain, which means if I... F firstly, try and get myself reasonably high up. And then get myself onto the west edge. Oh, I'm going to run out of feathers. Down I go. This could be the source of a mountain. The uh, source of a river. No, that's just clouds. Derp. Okay, so, all right, here we go. This is a river. And it's on kind of the west side of the mountain. So let's just try climbing up this. Aha. How did you get here faster than me? They must have some magic powers. Hmm. This painting isn't working. What? I like it. Thanks. This park is special to me. But I don't think I'm going to impress anyone with these. Hey, I'm impressed. I mean, like, leave an impression on anyone. I have to show people that I'm achieving something worthwhile. Like, academically. Hmm. I heard there's a graveyard in the shadow of the mountain. I'm going to try that next. Okay. Certainly I seem to keep stumbling upon the graveyard when I don't mean to, so perhaps I could find that quite quickly. There it is. And here's the artist, once again, somehow magically arriving before I do. Are you painting in the rain? Yep. Is that possible? I'm trying. I don't have a lot of time. The exhibition... <laughs> The exhibition is next week. Oh, okay. 
Nothing has been working so far. I finally got invited to show my work in the city, but everyone there is doing amazing contemporary work. I don't know if I can keep up. But your stuff is beautiful. You know who is curating the event? Ian Artsworth. Famous contemporary artist, Ian Artsworth. He personally invited me to participate. And, and, I'm going to show up with my boring landscapes. And he's going to take one look at them and whisper, This fails to resonate with me. And probably karate chop them in half. What? He won't do that. He could. He's also a black belt. So it's definitely possible. <sighs> but you're right. Trying to paint here is useless. Maybe I'd have better luck at Outlook Point. Outlook Point, that's where we're going next, is it? Okay. Um, can't remember how to get to Outlook Point. I'm going to try going this way. I feel like I'm going the wrong way around for Outlook Point. Ah, this blue bird's here again. Have I got 400 coins yet? 496, I sure do. Hello, you. Dang, you bought all my feathers. Do you want money for tuition? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, sure. But why? I don't know. I found most of this just by looking around the island. I'm pretty good at finding stuff. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's 400 coins, right? Here you go. Thanks. Um, you can have this. You found a wristwatch. Wristwatch. I, uh, found it. I was going to sell it on the internet or whatever, but I don't need it anymore. Huh. Okay. That wristwatch. Someone needed that. I think they were just down here. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, there's Outlook Point, by the way. That's convenient. Here's the artist. Whoa. This is really good. I love it. Oh, hey. I like it too, but I can't use this. Outlook Point has been painted to death. Has it? You've got such a cool style. Thanks, but it's just a landscape painting. This isn't bringing anything new to the table. I want... I want people to feel something when they look at my work. But I feel something when I look at it. It makes me happy. If I had that on my wall, I'd look at it every day. And it would make every day better. Really? Yes. I live out in the city. I love the city, but it's got none of this. Hmm. You were invited to this show, right? They invited you because they know your work is good. I'm sure they want to see this too. I don't know. I need to think about this. I'm going to find something new to paint. Maybe I should head back to where I started. Okay, we can meet you back where you started. First wristwatch person. I think, were they down in this canyon here somewhere? I feel like they're just out on this edge of the forest. It's not you. It's someone with a caravan. Uh, caravan. No caravan there. Maybe this way? We're definitely close to the person who lost their wristwatch. I feel like it was just, yeah, it was just behind the visitor centre, wasn't it? Hey, I think I found your watch. Yes, that's it. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. I ought to return the favour. Please, take this. Oh, I found another silver feather. Silver feathers are very rare. With one in hand, you can climb faster and fly higher. Thank you, I, I had already got one of those. Now I've got two. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm so mobile now. Such a shame I've nearly finished the game, eh? I mean, I think I've finished the game. I've, I've done everything on my little checklist. Let's just talk to this artist. Is Ranger John going to be in this painting? Yep. He agreed to be in this one because he's the best. Aw, you're going to make me blush. It's okay. I can paint the not blushing version if you want. Whoa, this is looking really good. I think I'm just going to paint the things I want to paint instead of painting the things I think other people want me to paint. At the very least, it's making things easier. And you want to paint me? Ah, well, you're a part of the park too. I just want to capture all aspects of the park. That sounds cool. Oh, also, on my way down from the mountain, I found this. Another golden feather. John told me you were collecting them, so I thought you should have it. Nice, thanks. I think while I'm here, I will just use my bucket. 
get some water and uh, do something with this plant here. Boing. Always good fun to get a little boing up. Oh, and also I notice I notice a golden feather here. Where did that come from? Is this your doing? Whoa, the city has really been growing, huh? Oh, this isn't a sand city anymore. This is a sand province. This time, I'm running for premier in the provincial elections. Sure, I wasn't elected as mayor, but this time, I'm really doubling down on outreach. And I'm promoting policies I really think will resonate with my key districts. Once I'm elected, I'll be able to use my provincial influence to finally exert control over the city that shunned me. <laughs> Whoa. And the first legislation I'll pass will exist to consolidate my allies in Parliament. A second legislation, free candy for all. <laughs> Weirdo. I will have this feather, though, seeing as you don't seem to want it. If I can get it. Got it. You found a golden feather. So, looking at my little checklist of things, I keep a checklist, you know. When I discover stuff and I can't do it straight away, I make a little note to come back to it later. I think all of my little loose ends have been tidied up. There's probably still some more golden feathers to find around the place, but I wasn't going for 100% completionist in this little series. Just enough to, to really see this island fairly thoroughly, replay this game that I played first a few years ago and enjoyed. It's a fantastic little chill game. I, th I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing this, and I hope you've enjoyed watching the series. I will bid you goodbye. Goodbye.